Since man first looked up at the night sky, we have been in awe of the stars. For centuries, we have gazed at them, dreaming of discovering new worlds and phenomena beyond our own. And thanks to advances in technology, that is precisely what we are doing. Countless space missions and discoveries have been made in the last several decades, and new revelations about our place in the cosmos keep coming to light. There seems to be no shortage of amazing space discoveries. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three incredible space discoveries and their findings. Mystery Objects In May 2014, multiple large objects fell from space and landed in China. These mystery objects landed in the city of Chichiha in the northeastern province of Heilongjiang. Fortunately, no one was hurt by the pieces. This province borders with Russia's Far East, so it was quickly assumed by experts to be space debris from a Russian rocket or satellite. Coincidentally, Russia had just unsuccessfully launched a satellite from the Baikonur Space Center in Kazakhstan around the same day. The communications satellite was meant to connect with their other satellites and deliver internet to the more remote Russian regions that lack fast communication methods. However, just nine minutes after launch, the rocket's control engine failed, and it quickly burned in the upper atmosphere. It seems that not all of the rocket and satellite were destroyed, though. While most of it burned, some debris fell and made its way into China. The China National Space Administration conducted an analysis on the mystery objects and concluded that they had indeed come from Russia's failed satellite. This launch failure was quite the embarrassment for the Russian government. Less than 50 years ago, they were considered leaders in the space industry. They launched the first artificial satellite, Sputnik, at a time when no one was expecting it and shocked the world. Their accomplishments spurred the technological and cultural developments of the space age. They were able to do more at that time with less technology than we have now. To make it even worse for them, the satellite cost Russia 150 million euros to build. A gravitational wave observatory on the moon could hear 70% of the observable universe. An innovation in astronomy has led to the creation of a gravitational wave observatory. This observatory has the capacity of capturing waves transmitted through space, allowing us to essentially hear the universe surrounding us. This is a groundbreaking development in astronomy and has the potential to revolutionize the study altogether. In the few short years that the observatory has been in effect, expert astronomers have gained access to information that was previously deemed to be unattainable. Black holes hold their position as one of the most untouchable aspects of space exploration. Even the most educated and creative astronomers cannot begin to explain the full scope of what a black hole encompasses. The new technology employed by the Gravitational Wave Observatory has substantially increased our understanding of black holes by honing into the gravitational waves that are produced by the phenomenon. The largest obstacle facing innovation is the presence of background noise. Since the observatory is based on Earth, there are many waves produced by nature and human creation that negatively impact the results of the observatory. There are currently many ways of minimizing this effect. Surrounding the observatory are many technologically advanced devices that detect waves emitted within the Earth's atmosphere. These waves are accounted for and nullified by the Gravitational Observatory to directly study waves coming from outside our atmosphere. Furthermore, the observatory focuses exclusively on high-frequency gravitational waves which generate hertz between 10 and 1000. This level of frequency is not produced on Earth and can be largely attributed only to black hole mergers. However, this method is not without fault. Many astronomers warn that this is not an effective way of obtaining accurate results. The most effective way of circumventing this unfortunate truth is by sending the observatory into space, and astronomers across the globe are hoping to achieve just that. The most prominent plan in the works is to send the new gravitational wave observatory to the moon. While this would be extremely difficult to do without damaging the observatory or causing other logistical problems, 
the moon is an excellent candidate for the observatory's new landing spot. ASASSN 14KO This discovery takes us a whopping 570 million light years away to the distant but intriguing galaxy ESO 253G003, whose behavior has scientists baffled. It turns out, in the core of this active galaxy, there appears to be a black hole which every so often erupts. The nucleus of the galaxy in question is called ASASSN 14KO, and scientists had previously observed it flaring up in the past, however, up until recently believed these to be rare, infrequent events. Other theories suggested that it was a supernova, and thus a one-time event whereby a star was destroyed. It is now clear that this is something else completely. Having monitored ASA SSN 14KO for six years now, NASA has confirmed that data is consistent over the entirety of their observational time frame, and that this nucleus in fact erupts approximately every 114 days. It therefore is now NASA's best example of periodic variability in an active galaxy. New theories revolve around the idea that this is the work of a supermassive black hole at the center of the galaxy, bursting every so often as it interacts with and partially consumes a neighboring giant star close by in orbit. With the lead team of scientists on the case observing brightness levels to monitor its activity, they have so far recorded 17 flares, each roughly 114 days apart, with brightness peaking at about day 5 and then simmering down again. Given the steady clockwork nature of these cosmic events, researchers have now coordinated more directed observation attempts, using past data to predict future outbursts. Several other theories float around as to how and why these flare-ups occur, but none have been confirmed as to the one just yet, making this case all the more mysterious. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.